Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how we can draw a simple bar plot having their error bar and statistical t-test analysis using this simple SR plot website. So before drawing this bar plot, let me show you how you can approach to this website. So first of all, simply you can go to this website bioinformatics.com.cn slash en. So when you will click on this, so it will show you the all modules. You can click on this basic plot. So when you will click on this, here would be the list of these basic plots. Here is error bar plot. And simply you can draw your error plot by inputting your data in this table. So let me show you in the Excel form how you can arrange your data. Here you can see we have three treatments like we have control and we have four hours and 24 hours. So for each one we have 20 replicates because in this example I have only three treatments like the first one is control and the second one is 4 hour and the third one is 24 hour. So here is the plant height data in the form of centimeter. So what you need to do you just need to arrange your data in these two columns and you can have up to 10 treatments. So you can simply just copy all this data and take you to that window. So here you can see now we can just simply paste our data. Here we can choose figure width and height. We can also choose axis text font size and legion title font size. And uh, first because we have now only input three treatments so the first three color if you want to change you can simply change from here but I don't need to change because these colors are already very beautiful and from here you can choose which you want like if you want to use only mean then the graph would be like this but if you want mean standard error with jet with jitter box here you can see this would be like that but if you want mean standard error with dot plot so then it would be like this so because we want to present in the form of mean standard error with jitter so here if you want to perform comparison like if we have control and we want to compare it with with 4 r and similarly we want to compare the control with 24 r so because now we want to compare the control with 4 r and the next we want uh, control with 24 hours so you can just simply separate them with the help of comma and from where this control 4 hour and 24 hour we get these are actually these treatment name here you can see we have control 4 hour and 24 hour and we want to compare the control with 4 hour and we want to compare the control with 24 hour please make sure that the spelling should be the same as that you have input in this file now statistical method you want to use because here we will use t-test so we will simply click on the submit button to generate this error bar plot but please make sure you should must log in to this website and this website is totally free to log in and you will get free point to use this so now our data is ready to submit so we will simply click on the submit button Here you can see our beautiful error bar plot is ready so we can download in the form of PNG. So here you can see now our graph are ready. So you can see here we have plant height, we have control 4 hour, 24 hour and here you can see it has also automatically performed the statistical method using t-test and it is showing the significant result. So in this way you can also of draw your error bar plot and you can directly use them in your research article and if you are facing any difficulty in the use of this website please let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye